Okay. Bye. It's too early for my life. <laughs> what time is it? Count. What time is it? It's um, 1.28 a.m. <laughs> and Gaki is still buffering. Okay, I am traveling with Katie. Katie Cat and Cal. It's Katie Cat for real. Look at that cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on a mission to go <laughs> sleepy. We are on a mission to go to San Diego, California. This is leg one. See you again later. This is my best attempt to be hyper. <laughs> Manila. She is my rest back for this trip. I am doing a garage visits episode with somebody I only met online. So no offense, but we have to bring rest back over at Taipei, Taiwan, where each boarding lounge is different. <laughs> So I'm traveling with Cal Santo of the Lidas Manila as well and LGBB little girl on a big bike or lesbian girl with big boots. Hello. <laughs> My favorite boarding lounge. It is the Hello Kitty Lounge. Hello Kitty Park. Step aside, kids. Step aside. I'm so annoyed. There's just too much more kitty going on. I hopped off the plane at LAX. Oh, hopped off the plane at LAX. See you in a bit. This is our second stop. We are at ESA. Where are we? Um, Orange County, Anaheim. Yeah, and look who we bumped into! Hi! Hi. <laughs> this is Bruce, and Marie, Marie, Kayla, and Kayla. And they watch all the way from here. And they watch you too, J-Max, so be nice. Because <laughs> they watch as a family. So anyway, this is our second stop. We've got one more stop before we hit Ultimate Garage Visit episode in San Diego. So thank you guys for showing thank up. You. Yay! Oh, what's happening to my camera? has a mind of its own. Why? <laughs> You're here. Uh huh. Woohoo! You can look at the mirror. Hey. <laughs> we are here and looking for the garage. Garage. So garage. British. If I'm not I'll here I'll in you. ten minutes, I'll go with you. be worried. If we are not here in in ten minutes, call Just the police. Stop. Hello! What's up? It's the first time on video. Yeah. This is fine? Hey. Okay. I should have asked for a photo. Gaki. Okay. Chris. Hi. This is Cal Hello. and Katie. Hello. Nice okay. to meet you. Yes. Hi Chris, it's nice it's, meeting you. It's functional. I've been chatting with you for a year. <laughs> <laughs> one year. One whole year. So what was the actual travel time? An hour. An hour and a half. So we can fire up some of your videos on the big screen. Oh no. <laughs> I hate watching myself. <laughs> you, you caught me by surprise. I wanted to fire up your theme song. If you oh. <laughs> All right then. Um, we've got bikes that are uh, uh, low seat. And we got bikes that are lightweight, but we don't have any lightweight bikes with low seats. Okay. So they're all lined up in the driveway if you want to kind of check them out. Okay, here I am in my first garage visit in San Diego. And 
This is what we got. This is garage one. Wait, I am gonna... It's a nitro burning fuel bike. I, I built that back in the uh, mid 1980s. Like, wow. Like, it looks so... Wow. So the kind of amped up. And yeah, well, the, in the future. Fuel born injectors and all this stuff here was added on to fit the big tire. What wow. is? Yeah. These are the jet engine. Oh yeah. And Airplanes. The, you know, Jay Leno saying, yeah, 460 pounds. Well, bullshit. You grab the handlebars <laughs> and you're gonna know. Um, it's like 740 with a full tank of gas. You know, oh my God. It's got a mile long wheelbase on it. And I made some changes to it that... Um, this is the one with the airplane in, engine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Throw a leg this over. This one. See how they this oh, is yeah. the zero electric. Very modified. Very modified. Like yeah. what did you... Uh... They come with a single disc brake in the front, normally. And I turned that sucker dark blue in about 50 miles of Palomar. I mean, it was smoked. And uh, so I had to put some more brakes on it. Oh, you know, okay. suspension and all that. So that's from a Ducati 1098S, again, off of eBay. <laughs> we love price. eBay. I, and this one, I like this, the flux yeah. then. Yep. Squeeze this the clutch on that one. My second favorite to the bobber. Ooh, two one fingers. Finger. Yeah, the uh, check that out. Did you do something to that? No, that's, that's stock. That's wow, actually, that's about oh eight, my. That's about eight pounds compared to a KTM being about twelve pounds on your bike or this bike. Or see if you're worthy. Uh -huh. um, this is a thing where you measure <laughs> a grip strength. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, damn, I got seventy-five <laughs> pounds with a sprained wrist. <laughs> That's that's the minimum requirement to do turbo hog. Remember the video where you basically tapped out? And yeah, because I couldn't squeeze the clutch. You see this thing here, we can uh, put that over the lever, you know, tighten a knot and put it over the lever and, and actually see, see how, how the lever pressure something is. And right now turbo hog has got the record uh, for being a stiff clutch. Okay, where's turbo hog? Oh, I'm challenged. Okay, I am challenged. And, uh, okay, well, wait, wait, I, I can sit on this. Yeah. yeah this Easy. Fun. Yeah, but this... Oh, no. Well, you squeeze it like you're pissed off at somebody. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. You got 62, 68. All right. <laughs> Next. Pissed. Come on. You're pissed off, man. Your old man did you wrong. <laughs> 54. 54. Yeah. Cal, I'm weak. You could take that. No, you got to just Norton Commando up. 19. Like me up. Like 961. Cafe Racer. Like your this is Norton nice. Cafe Racer. Yeah. Automatic transmission. This one? Yep. Yeah, that one and the Zero are actually my two most often used runner. There's an Aprilia that's automatic transmission. Yeah, 850 cc. You just turn it on and go. <laughs> CBR. On the bagger. And yes, we even get all the tire on the baggers. <laughs> that's a 500 twin. And oh, 500 F. That might be that might be usable as far as a bike for someone that's you know. Can't reach the ground. At least you can do it on something light. It weighs like 425 pounds. K 1200s. I'm so not even familiar with. It's a good bike. I actually like it better than the Hayabusa as far as running up to San Bernardino and stuff. The, I have. I should have gotten the list so I could look everything <laughs> up. <laughs> the Hayabusa. This was actually the first one in San Diego. Wow. And it immediately found its way to the quarter mile. So it was also the first bike in the country to fry a clutch two weeks later. <laughs> and uh, you couldn't get parts for these things, so I go, went to the junkyard to see what would fit. Yeah. And clutch plates from a Kawasaki KZ650 went right in. Okay. And I get them for like 10 bucks a handful, so there, you know, I got a bunch. I got a Hayabusa, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that is what they call a boxer cup replica. It's a 2002 model. Nice. Um, I got that out of a, a dealership in Utah. Wow. That one I actually bought. Uh, new locally, and it 
It's the first of its type in San Diego. And, uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. This is cool. Can I go in? Go ahead. The cattle will let you go. <laughs> Where's the security? Wow, this is legit oh garage. Yeah, and uh, if you want to make motorcycle parts, over this area here, you got the lathe, the milling machine, the TIG welder. A lathe. Yeah, I had to figure out what a lathe was. Yeah, the, the TIG welder is about the size of a small refrigerator. I mean, that'll go up to 450 oh, wow. amps. You know, it's not some little buzz box. It's water-cooled. Hey, Teacher Jonathan, isn't this like a playground for you? Yeah, it's <laughs> so much fun to see this. this is like five times your garage, man. <laughs> now, the tire inventory. Tire inventory. There is literally thousands of bucks worth of tires just kind of hanging. Oh, wow. <laughs> the tires just hanging out, you know, they just <laughs> chilling here. <laughs> that bike in the corner there is the only one of its kind in the world. And is this the one that was in a museum? <laughs> oh, a few of my bikes have been in museums, but that's nah. quite one of them. Um, this particular one was made what by a guy is? by the name of Ernie Tavener back in the 1920s. It's the 1920s? Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff about it that's very advanced for that era. It's got rear suspension, which, you know, uh, people a... didn't have back then. And it's got, the, the fenders look like something Arlen Ness would do, but this is like almost 100 years ago. Can I and, touch it? Uh, the story was he worked as an Oldest aircraft motorcycle engineer. motorcycle I've touched. <laughs> he worked as an aircraft engineer for Rolls-Royce, and... A lot, of a lot of places were thinking about getting into the motorcycle business as a yeah. sideline, a lot of car makers. So he kind of built that in the back garage, you know, designed and built it and, and whatnot. And Rolls-Royce never actually did get around to making motorcycles, so this was like a prototype. It's a, a 57 pan head. Uh, one of my guys was working on the tank and screwed it up, so I got to fix the tank. <laughs> and when you go up to the ranch, you'll see a bunch of Harleys, a bunch of pan heads, knuckle heads, and so on. Hey, Harley girl! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the 1940 uh, Indian police bike, or CHP bike. Uh -huh. And I broke the front cylinder on Palomar. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so I've got some uh, brand new cylinders to put on it that are standard bore, made in India. But they Did totally you get them broke. on eBay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you're learning now. Transmission scattered all over the table there. I, it yeah, I saw it when it's back then. The like transmission is there. somewhere yeah. there. Well, not only that. It's just but somewhere. The there. Early transmission <laughs> noise. Interesting, huh? It's, like, so it's, it's one of those, yeah, you shift with, with foot, your hands. Uh, foot clutch and hand shift to bring it out. So it might get lunch somewhere. <laughs> Holy shit. Are we in a museum? I think so. I feel like I'm in a museum. Circa 1924, <laughs> when bikes were getting started back then. Oh my then. God, that's the key. Like this. You yes. yes. The key to Gondor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chastity belt. <laughs> when you go inside. Yeah. But I think up in... Okay, um, this is the inner garage. Still part of the same garage visits. And it's got a lot of fun stuff. Palomar Mountain. No, wait, no. Here we are in San Diego Garage Visit tonight. I am gonna do my very, very, very first taste ride, and this is an electric bike. Zero electric. It's got Olin's in front. Like what? Anyway, we're off to do my first taste ride, and let's see how it goes. Any special instructions? Huh? Any special instructions? Uh, <laughs> Just throttle. It's basically just turn it on and go. There's no clutch. You want to turn this off or turn this off back in the bike up so it doesn't get away from you by accidentally moving the throttle. Okay. And the throttle is not armed until you put the side stand up and you'll see the green light. Oh, okay. Yeah. And front brake, the one or two fingers only. Um, it's on eco mode right now. Okay, I'm on eco mode. <laughs> and then the throttle won't work. So yeah. this is basically on. I just put up the side stand and it's ready to go. Just don't underestimate eco mode. Don't underestimate eco mode. Hit the home avenue for a turnaround, then uh, we'll uh, you know hit the sport button. Okay. 
And there you go. All you have to do is just put up the side stand. And that's ready to go. Chris is on an FZ09, which is our MT09. I am on a zero electric. Wow, we are going uphill and you can't hear anything. Very interesting. Wow, so lane splitting is semi allowed in San Diego, California. <laughs> on the freeway, on the shoulder, on a very quiet motorcycle. Oops, it says stop. It says stop. Oh, it says go. Here we go. I must remember I am in miles per hour. Shit. Fantastic! Oh my god! You can't hear anything. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm on an electric motorcycle on a freaking highway. Shit, it's nothing like the Philippines. I'm just worried about the whole lane splitting issue. Uh, this guy is trying to... Woo! <laughs> and this is on eco mode on a zero electric motorcycle. It's really smooth, like you don't feel, you know, any gear shifting because there are no gears, so it's really just... Oh, okay. This is full throttle. So eco mode just goes up to 71. Nice! This is full throttle. <laughs> Trying to crouch down, see if it gets any faster. Nope, but I think top speed is 71 on eco mode. I'm feeling the wind chill. And I'm on full gear and I'm wearing an inner layer. Chris, don't go so fast. Okay. Exiting the freeway. <laughs> hey, not bad. First time on a US freeway. And I'm like on an electric motorcycle. And I maxed it out. <laughs> it's all torque. <laughs> really sounds like a Star Wars speeder. Can you hear it? Good stuff. And sport mode is quite a bit faster. Okay, sport mode is faster. Sport mode, here we are.